Hi, and welcome to another great embellishment lesson, the cushions. I really do like this embellishment. It has a great outcome, but really it's quite simple to do. It is quite a bit of work, but I genuinely think that the end result justifies that effort. So, as usual, first off, let's think about the plan. We will be using an existing pour for this embellishment. We didn't really plan this pour for an embellishment, but I think it's worked out great. It's the golf ball pour. What? Yes, that's correct, you heard me right the first time. The golf ball pour. This is a, a pour that we created for a lesson in our paint pouring course. So we have the pour. So next up is the composition. We will be creating a simple stencil and, as usual, you can download that template from the resource folder for this lesson. We'll be using black and white Posca pens for the shading and we don't need any paint at all for this embellishment. So, that's the plan. Now, let's think about this stencil. It is important that you spend a bit of time and effort to create the stencil. It has to fit onto the canvas pretty accurately. Now for this embellishment we are using a 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter canvas. Okay, So the stencil needs to be 50% of the width of the canvas and 25% of the height. Okay, So that means our stencil will be in a triangle shape that's 20 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters deep. Now, to make it simple, we use the same triangular shaped stencil many times on the same canvas. So instead of making a big 40 cm by 40 cm stencil, we simply make a small one and use it many times. Okay? Now, because we are using it many times, we're actually going to create this stencil out of plastic as opposed to paper. Okay. First off, we actually printed it onto card and then used that as a guide to cut out the plastic stencil. Let's see how making the stencil looks. Okay, all done. And I can tell you having a good stencil really does make life simple during the next step, the composition. Now, to get started and ensure everything is in place when we start using the stencil, we simply mark out diagonal lines onto the canvas. We then use the stencil to mark out the basic shape and then join up the lines and fill in the tiny bits of negative space with a Posca pen. Here we go, let's check that out. Okay, that laying out the composition, I can tell you, was actually quite a bit of work. But it is a very important part of the process, so it is worth making the effort 
to make sure everything is correct. Now, with it all marked out, let's press on and get the next big step underway, the shading. We'll use a black Posca pen and a damp paintbrush for the shading. When all the dark shading is done, we'll add a thin line of white across the face of each section and again blend that in using a damp paintbrush. Let's see how all that shading looks. Okay, that I can tell you was another few hours work. Let's check out the final results to see if it was all worthwhile. Wow. I really do like how this has turned out. Superb. Another piece heading for my favourites wall. I think I need a bigger wall soon. So let's do the summary. Okay, here's the summary. The golf ball pour worked out great for this embellishment, even though it wasn't planned when we poured it. The stencil really does make it easy to complete the composition and is well worth the time and effort to create it. The simple shading process was really effective. A lot of it, but very simple and very effective. And I'm sure we'll be creating a few more of this piece once this particular uh, creation hits the shop. And that's just about it for this lesson, guys. We've enjoyed it. Uh, from start to finish, it's been good fun, right from the pour, right through the whole process. I hope you've enjoyed it too, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.